Hello friends and welcome to the final week of the IMP collab travel class. Um, I'm really excited to share my album with you that is complete. So I chose to pick the week of finishing your project because that is one thing that I'm actually pretty good at is getting things finished. Um, I know a lot of people struggle with that. Uh, I'm a little different where I don't have full-time kids. I do work for a living, but I have free time to be able to work on these kinds of projects and get them done. I have a home photo printer, which really makes things easier for me. And I also just have that kind of personality where I'm driven to see the final project, especially travel albums in general, because I really love them. So one thing I will say, this album is not super duper creative. Um, I was trying to do more things fun with it to be honest with you like I have some creative um page protector um dividers that I created I have a fun itinerary but a lot of this is just filling in the pockets and sometimes albums are just like that you know like we had a good time but uh, a lot of photos are indoors they're dark you know we were out at night a lot um there's a lot of stuff we did and shows that we went to where I really couldn't take good photos so it kind of made it difficult, but uh, I'm really happy to be done, have my ephemera out of my pocket and in an album, and scratch another one off the list. So I'm excited to share it with you. So as you saw in the week two video, I've got my intro pages here and my itinerary. I really love this on the vellum over the pattern paper. I just think it came out so cool. We have my stamped title page here. I kept it simple with the embellishments. I have some leather tags from the Allie Edwards 2021 travel collection. I have some chipboard pieces here that are from uh, Citrus Twist Kits and a bunch of word phrase stickers and some just chipboard pieces. But like I said, I kept it really simple. So there's our selfie on the plane. Our two boarding passes. These are some papers from Echo Park's stateside collection. A little geotag showing where we are and a view from the plane. And then um, a shot of the hotel and a view from the room. Here I use um, the pocket to store the map of the hotel. And I put a coaster on the outside of the page protector, just using it like it's a, you know, just a standard circle embellishment or a die cut. So that's just slipped into the pocket. Here I have our playing cards and our room key pocket and just information on how to use it because I wanted a fourth one. Um, I mounted all of those onto clear transparency pieces so they looked like they were floating. And then I added just a word from the same collection here from Citrus Twist Kits. And I thought that was fun. On the back here, I just trimmed down two photos that I had and a pocket that just, you know, just there's nothing inside, just kind of trying to use up the embellish, the ephemera, I should say, that I have and uh, just a nice simple backer. So here's my day one transparency with the number one die. I've got some cash out vouchers mounted here and I've got a two page photo spread, which I really love. Nice, crisp, clear photo. Just showing our view from the hotel when we got there. And then the same view at night, which came out pretty cool. So these are the pleather tags that I was talking about. And I had this Las Vegas stamp set here from Kelly Perky. And I stamped in stays on um, with the circular stamp there just for some fun and variety. I kept the ribbon the same just for some consistency throughout the album, but it was fun using those up. So once we got there and got unpacked and settled in, we went out to dinner at the Cromwell to Giada's, which was really awesome. Here's just another shot, um, a little chipboard to help pull the red throughout the page. 
And you'll see here, like I said, my embellishment's very simple. You know, I've got my journal card with some notes. I've got a simple chipboard piece. I'm trying to just let the photos tell a story. My style is that I definitely crop in. I like to enlarge things and uh, keep it pretty simple. Here we had gone to the Bellagio and checked out their Christmas displays, even though it was a few days after Christmas, they were still up. Here's my day two transparency, my two of hearts. And this is a video that you probably also saw a lot of in week two where I showed you more of a walkthrough of how I made it. Um, I chose this one because I had some fun ephemera to use. I was able to sprinkle in some Studio Calico cards that uh, were taken at the same place we visited, which was the Neon Museum. Got another tag here. Our tickets from going to see the event. Another card and photo. Here I created a three by eight transparency. These were all specific Tim Burton. Well, two of these were Tim Burton's. I just got, thought this was cool. It's a neon light and it says, I have a vague memory from when I was a boy that I worked in a circus for Siegfried and Roy. So it rhymes, but it's just really fun. And I thought that was neat. Um, an old casino sign did a transparency here just to provide a little bit of a see-through element. Added a chipboard, board phrase sticker, and a little die cut with some stamping. I've got an enlargement here of myself in front of the really big sign outside, out front. And then the old Hard Rock Cafe guitars there. And then here I took our wristband and used red line tape to attach it to the corner of the photo there. I've got my exhibition map here, which I attached with one of these awesome clear transparency pages. It already has the adhesive attached to it from Citrus Twist Kits and Felicity Jane carries them as well. It looks a little funny here. I had to peel it off because I didn't put it on straight, but um, worked well. So here's a little story about some gambling that we did for these coins that are called Silver Strikes. And I don't know if you can see here, but he's got a little handful of them. So, and I took a picture of the machine when it landed on there. Use this fun Studio Calico card of the poker chips, even though we weren't playing poker, it was casino -y themed. Use these awesome Chamel silver puffy letter stickers that I had and an L Studio journaling card <clears throat> and a stamp from the Kelly Perky set. And more of that on the back here, I used the In the Casino st uh, stamp and the Downtown stamp. This playing card from that particular casino and then a shot of one of them coming out and then a close-up of one of them as well just for fun. Got some cash out vouchers here and a photo of us in front of the Fremont Street experience. Later that night we went out to dinner at the Dim Sum Cafe at the Paris. I had this um, digital card here from In a Creative Bubble that I used. I changed the pink to black and added my darling. And then here we are moving on to day three. This was kind of an awkward day to try to scrap out. Um, we had gone and I went, got my nails done for, cause it was New Year's Eve. Uh, we went, or I guess it was the day before New Year's Eve, sorry. Uh, we went to the wind and we wandered around some casinos. So I've got like a shot of the waterfall outside, checking out all these cool floral displays inside. I've got my consistent card here with stamping, another tag. This one I did on a see-through pocket. On the back, I just used some patterned paper and a little chipboard heart. Got my Allie Edwards card here. And then this is also an Allie Edwards card, I believe from the Rome kit, if I remember correctly, showing us going to dinner. Some shots from inside the casino. And then we went to see a show. So here was a picture of the sign. Here's another one of those Studio Calico poker chip cards. I just added some chipboard pieces into the center just for something fun. A little note there about what we were doing. A photo of us from inside the show and then another nighttime shot of Vegas Strip. Here we are moving on to day four. We went to a really cool restaurant in the area casino uh, for, New for our New Year's Eve dinner. So you notice I don't even have any pictures of our day. So like... 
just because we went to breakfast at the casino didn't mean I had to photograph it, you know, and I did, but they weren't good enough photographs. It wasn't a strong enough story to tell. So I just skipped it. Um, we slept in, we knew we were going to have a late night with New Year's Eve and everything. So, um, here I have a uh, shot of the restaurant from the inside of the casino to the outside of it. Got another tag here. Um, my partner took a shot of me looking at the menu. I thought that was kind of fun and I also needed a good photo to blow up. Here's a photo of us um, in a mirror somewhere. I wish we had a better photo, but we didn't ask anyone to take our, our picture. So just a little selfie is all I had. It's a little blurry, so I kept that one small. And then I do take pictures of our food. We had like a, a six or seven course tasting menu meal. So that was kind of fun. These are some digital cards from the Allie Edwards mini collection for Eat. Um, I have the digital version, so I added my journaling. Um, this was a card that I made that has this pattern on the top, and I just kind of copied and pasted it just to kind of make a pattern that I thought was fun. Added some chipboard. I believe that's the Studio Calico. Added some more chipboard and word phrase stickers. And then here I needed something to kind of differentiate the fact that we were at a Lady Gaga concert, so I blew this photo up. Um, it's a really bold, fun pink. Added the title there before I printed the photo. This is a shot that I had to find online. We were in, we had amazing seats, actually. We were at the front row of the balcony um, and we had a great view, but it was just so dark and there were so many flashing lights, it was really hard to get photos. So I found this one online and blew it up. Here's a shot of our digital ticket. And then I used that to select a photo here. Um, sorry, I mean to select a color here and do some journaling. This is from the play kit from Allie Edwards. And just added some journaling and a little chipboard piece there that says epic and then just a few more shots these are ones that i did all take myself the only one i downloaded from online was that one but uh it's pretty cool so here i'm trying to get us back to the hotel and celebrating new year's eve so i took a piece of ephemera just from the hotel that i had and put it in the center here partly because it matched in the purple colors but i just needed something to help differentiate that we were kind of back at the hotel um, so it's a shot from our room looking down at the crowds and I have this really awesome shot of the fireworks going off above each of the big, big casinos um, they time them together which is really cool and this is actually a shot that I got from video that I had taken um, a lot of the shots didn't come out well because of all the smoke just so much going on I needed another photo to go on the other side of that, so I blew up the selfie and the selfie of the two of us. He was such a good sport wearing these silly glasses that I found. I just figured for 2020 it would be funny. Um, got some little blowers like um, to to sound out, and then our little hats. And he even had a little light up bow tie. So you can see it was very dark, but I just really enjoyed having that photo. <clears throat> some more shots of us on the balcony with the fireworks behind us and then here in the dead space I used a stamp from Allie Edwards stories by the month kit I think there was one for July 4th and for January that's the same stamp but I just stamped it and stays on and put a little chipboard star there this is from the studio calico vegas set of cards it was a four by six I cut down and this was an Allie Edwards wooden piece that I never used in my project life that year. So I just added it to the outside here. And another Allie Edwards adventure story card. <clears throat> and then here we are moving on to day five. Again, we were up late. We were up late because of New Year's Eve. Slept in, had breakfast, which I didn't document. Uh, we went right to lunch here with my stories. And we went to Gordon Ramsay Burger. I was th at this restaurant at another Vegas trip, I think back in like... 2015 and I had dreamed about going back ever since and this is why they have a creme brulee pudding and cookies and cream milkshake it is just as delicious as it sounds got some parmesan fries uh, you know a burger that's all fine and dandy it's the milkshake it's incredible so here I used a card I think this is from an alley journey kit Added a little stamp here from Everyday Explorers, did a teeny tiny bit of journaling, and then this is the pick from our burger that I saved and used red line tape to attach there. 
And then later we went to dinner. So I've got a picture of the Eiffel Tower restaurant outside of the Paris Casino. A shot of our table. I liked this because it had the name of the restaurant on the bread bag that our baguette was in. Didn't even really do any drilling here. These are kind of self-explanatory. There are pictures of us at dinner, some food, another tag. <clears throat> and then here we did a little gambling and we had a nice little win. It wasn't huge. It was about $1,200. Um, so these are two more of the Vegas cards. I added some more of these chipboard stars to them just to help pull in the colors of all the bright, fun photos here. Added some journaling and a chipboard piece here. And then I have a shot of a different win and one of me playing. I punched um, the cash out voucher right into the album there. And then included this quote card that I needed something bright and fun to help pull in, like I said, all these colors. And it was also a perfect sentiment for Joy's even greater when it's unexpected. So I thought that was really nice. Had a shot of the Bell Bellagio here that I just thought was pretty. Added a little bit more journaling and some pattern paper with chipboard piece. And then this is technically day six, but I just mentioned you know, that we went home, got packed up for our flight home the next day and made journaling. Got a shot here of the sunset. We actually <clears throat> had a flight from Vegas to Chicago and then Chicago to Philly. That's actually Chicago there. So I just added another little chipboard and some stickers here to help pull in those colors. And then our plane tickets were really faded. So I actually took photos of those and printed them out because I didn't want them to get so um faded by the time you know I go through the album at a later date added our bag tags to the outside there kind of like it's an embellishment and um that's everything so I really hope that you enjoyed my walkthrough I hope that you're inspired to get your products out of wherever they're in storage or use some ideas for fun for a new album that you haven't even you know started for a new trip you haven't even taken yet but um like I said, I, I, I really enjoy travel albums. They are one of my favorites. I love big photos. I love, you know, an entire mini album for a five day trip. It's fantastic to me. I love to see the photos big. Every trip, maybe I've been to Vegas twice, but each trip was different. Um, every trip to me is like a once in a lifetime experience. So I really like to have them on the shelf so I can go and pull them down and look through them. And it feels so, so good to get the ephemera out of the pocket and into an album. And then anything I don't use, I just throw it away. Or I should say I recycle it, but usually honestly it just goes in the trash because I've usually cut stuff up from it. But um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching and for participating in the class. I hope that you're super inspired by not only myself, but everyone else who provided some awesome content. And uh, I will see you around again. Thank you so much.